Hi friends, this is Bakapa. Welcome back to Tester Stock channel. In this tutorial, I will discuss how to implement retry logic for the steps in the automation script. This concept can be used in the UI automation testing and as well as in the API automation testing. So first, let's start with adding the one of the Maven dependency. And after that, we will take one of the API test and we will start implementing the logic for retrying the steps. So I will go to the Google and here I will search for the one of the Maven dependency called dev dot failsafe. Here I'll say Maven dependency. So here I will go to the Maven repository official website and I will copy the failsafe Maven dependency of version 3.3.1 and I will go to the pom.xml file and simply I will add the Maven dependency. So that's it. After adding the Maven dependency, simply save the pom.xml file and after that, so simply I will copy the end-to-end -end API test and I will paste it inside the same package. So here I will rename the class name as step retry. Then I will click on OK. So here we got the step retry class and which has the end-to-end -end API test. So in this API test, what we are going to do is, so we are retrying this particular assertion statement. So here, here we are validating the first name and we will try to pass the incorrect expected value and we will check whether it is retrying the this particular step multiple times based on the specified number of times. So here we have to implement the logic which will retry for this particular assertion statement. So this particular logic can be applied on any of the step any of the steps in the automation script. So here I'm showing an example with assertion because this is one of the key statement which we are writing it in every automation script. So after the line number 41, so here I'm using the one class called retry policy. So if you look at here, so it is coming from the dev dot failsafe. So this Maven dependent dependency we have added just now. So this particular class is coming from the Maven, dependen Maven dependency which we have added just now. And after calling to the, after adding the class retry policy dot, here we have to call to the builder. So inside the builder, we are having multiple methods. The first one is with delay. So here we have to specify the polling time. So inside this one, I am specifying duration dot seconds. So every one second, I want to poll for that particular operation. And after calling to the with delay method, so let's call to the method called with max retries. So here we have to pass the count like how many times we want to retry for any step. So let's add the five. I want to retry for five times. So in between the delay of one second and after specifying the polling time and the maximum number of attempts. So we need to call to the method called on retry. So here we are specifying. So what is the error message? It has to display when there is a polling happened. And after that, we need to call to the another method called on failure. So there we are passing the what is the error message? It has to print after the failure also. So let's add the error message over here. And whenever there is a polling happened and what is the error message? It has to print. So simply I will pass this particular logger information over there. So by using the logger, log 4j logger, I will simply print the information in the console output. Here I'll say first name is not matching. So that's it. And so this particular error message will be printed only when there is a failure in the polling time. And also let's pass another error message. So that will be printing. So whenever there is a 
failure so similarly i will copy this particular statement i will add it for the on failure as well so here i will modify this error message here i'll say first name is not matched so line number 48 error error message will be printing whenever there is a polling happened and that particular step got failed and this line number 49 will be printed only when there is a failure in the whole step after attempting the max number of retries so after that simply we have to call to the method called build so this particular build method it will returns us the retry policy type of object so i will assign back to the retry policy of type generic that is the object type and simply i will create the another reference variable and i'll assign back to the retry policy reference variable so that's it so here we have specified what is the polling time and what is the maximum number of attempt it has to make for any step execution and what are the error message it has to display if there is a failure in the polling time and if there is a failure in the step so let's start using this particular object so where we want to retry the step so simply i'll delete all these lines and i'll come down so we want to retry this particular assertion where we are comparing first name so here i'm using one statement called statement called failsafe dot with so inside here we are passing the our retry policy object simply i'll copy this reference variable and i'll paste it inside the width and after that simply i'm running this particular statement so here simply i will say open bracket close bracket and after that i will add this particular assertion statement inside the our run method because i want to retry this particular assertion multiple times so based on the failure right so let's delete this line and that's it guys so here we have implemented the retry log retry policy logic condition and we are passing this retry policy condition over line number 70 by using this retry policy condition object and we are running the assertion statement so let's add the some invalid expected value so that our test will get fail where mismatch happens in the first name so now let's run this api test and it should get fail and also it should retry for the five times so whenever we are validating the first name so let's maximize this console output and if you look at here so it is printing us the error message saying that first name is not matching so this is the first time second time third time fourth time and fifth time right so five times that particular step got executed because there was a failure and at the end it is printing us the first name is first name is not matched and if you look at the our error, error message also so same error, error message is printing in the console output so this particular error message is printing whenever there is a polling happened and this line number 50 error message is printing in the console output whenever there is a finally this particular step is getting failed at the end so let's delete this incorrect first name so now now let's execute uh, one more time this api test because now in this case the first name is matching so there will be no retry for this particular step because there is no failure in this particular step so this time our test should work fine so let's run this test as a test ng test and let's look look at the console output so our test should work fine because there is no failure and uh, there should not be any retry in the steps of the automation script so if you look at here so total test run is one and that is getting passed and there are zero failures and this is how we can implement the logic for retry in the steps for the automation script
friends, this is Bakapa. Welcome to ABA testing full course. You can access all the exercise which we have done in the whole ABA testing course. I have already provided this uh, link in the video description. So anyone can access this link and also you can get the whole collections and also the envir environment variable details. So you can take that URL which is there in the description of this below video and paste it in the web browser. And after that, so once it is opened, so you need to export this uh, collections into the your local system. So it will open like this after ex accessing the link. So this is a public access URL which which I have shared it. You can <clears throat> click on this booking API. You can see all the APIs are there inside the two folders. So what you can do is you can click on this three dots and you can export it. So you can click on this export and firstly you can export this booking API collection and after that on the right side you can select the booking API environment and after that click on this icon and click on the edit then you can click on three dots and you can click on this export so this will export the environment variable details so after exporting it so you will get the these two files and once once you have the, these two files you can go to the postman and you can click on this import and make sure you are there in this uh, file tab and you can click on choose files and you can select the first link collection that's the postman collection and you can open it and after that you can click on import so firstly you can load the postman collection and after that you can load the environment details so as I have already these APIs in my system, I don't want to import it. And this is how you can get the exercise which we have done in the API testing full course. You can find all the code which I have discussed in the rest assured API testing full course. You can search with the backup and GitHub in the google.com. And here you can go to the my GitHub repository. And over here in the repositories tab, you will find the rest assured API testing framework. You can go inside the this repository and you can click on this code and you can copy this URI. And by using this URI, and you can simply use the git in your local machine and you can simply clone it by using the git clone and followed by that specify the URL. So you will get the whole code which I have discussed in the rest assured API testing full course.